Okay, you might have noticed a change in venue. It got suddenly dark and cold outside, so I'm going to finish this up in here. Sorry that the view isn't quite as inspiring, but the next step that, that I would do, now that we have all the floppy reduction done, is uh, we're going to start getting into the uh, reduction of the edges. Now, these edges, the 4x4 edges, are already done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next highest layer. I'm not going to jump right into these edges. I'm going to do these edges here. So you can see this is all done over here. This is all done over here. And up, this is out, and this is out. So there's two possibilities when it comes to edge reduction. Either they can all be in, which is good. Now all be in means that maybe these two are out and these two are out, but they're the same color. So that's really not any issue with the parity, that's a URF algorithm basically. But I can't do a URF algorithm in this case because only one is out on this side and one is out on this side. If two are out total, just one here and one here, then I call that a floppy parity because I found that with a reduction of a floppy to a domino basically. If three are out, one, two, and maybe a third one here, that I call a brick parity because I saw that in a reduction of a brick to basically a domino. Uh, and what that really means is that as I reduce all cuboids to dominoes, that's really ultimately what I want to do, anytime I run into a problem where I can't solve it as a domino, then that's a parity problem. So this is something that I've seen with a floppy. So you get both types. So if you have two, that's a floppy parity. So what I'm going to do to get out of that is the, what you want to do is move the two that are out opposite each other. Now you can see this is opposite each other, but I'm going to do it on the flat layer. So I'm going to move it over here and just bring it up over to here. So they're opposite each other here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up like so. And now I want to flip flop these two guys. So this will come here and this will come here. Once this is down here, you can see that this will then come to its proper place over here with this guy being uh, at its proper place over here. The white will end up over here to end up back over here. So just to reiterate, move it opposite, move this up, and in this position, do the, uh, do the uh, Red Bull algorithm. So the same thing that got us out of the even to odd layer parity problem, the Red Bull algorithm, will get us out of the floppy parity by putting it into this floppy form, which you would never be able to do with a domino, and just do the same Red Bull algorithm. So same algorithm to get out of a different kind of a cuboid parity. That's 2R, 2B, 2U, L, 2 up, RI, 2 up, R, 2 up, 2F, R, 2F, then Li, 2B, 2R. And that's basically it. Now all I have to do is move this back up. You can see all this is in, all this is in, and I can move this guy back down. Now there's a little bit of damage control. You, you can see that I, I brought these two corners, uh, these two center pieces up. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, just one sliding you will bring all that back down. Move this back down over here. So basically move it down on the right, slide it to a left, then down on the left. Slide it back to the right, then back up on the right, slide it back on the left, and up on the left, and bring it back. Okay. So what we did is we fixed this, and that was a floppy parity. Okay, so we're going to pick it up here with this uh, next layer, and we can see that these two are in, these two, and these two. So this whole thing is in over here, but we've got one, two, and three that are out. So this is a different kind of a parity now. This isn't the floppy parity. This is actually what I would call the brick parity because uh, you'll see this with a reduction from a brick to a cuboid. So the algorithm with this is a little bit different. And the way that this is going to work is that this algorithm will do this to here, this will come back to here, and this will come up to here. There's a left-sided version and a right-sided version. So the way, this, the way that this is going to work is I'm going to start off with a 2F. Uh, wow. Then we're going to do a UI, and this is actually this layer here, so i got to slice it through here, so it'll be a UI, then 2L, U, 
2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R. We do a double turn like so. Then we move this 2L over here. And then we double turn it back. Then we finish it up with a 2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R, UI, 2L, U. We do another 2R here. Move this back. And boom. This is all done here. These are good here. These are good here. And these are good here. Um, the next step is to move out even further. So we saw an example of a brick parity. We saw an example of a floppy parity. This is fine because these are the same color. These are the same color. These are the same. And these are the same. So no such parity exists. So all I have to do is URF these in. 2U, 2R, 2F. 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U. Okay, now we have to hit these guys over here. So looking at these, these got messed up a little bit, but I can easily place them back in by sliding U techniques. So turn it in from the left, slide it to the right, out from the right, slide it back to the left, Back on the left, slide it back to the right, back on the right. Okay, so that's no problem, that's no worries. Okay, we're gonna put this guy in the same way. These are just center pieces that got a little offset as we we're putting the edges in. We got some choppy water here. Choppy water. Okay, now, these guys, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to slide you technique these in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take every opportunity that I have to either URF it or see what kind of parodies we have. Seeing this over here and this over here, these are two that are out. So this is what I would call the brick parody. Brick parody because I can three cycle this to here, this to here, and this to here. I just have to go a layer below. So it's the same algorithm. We do a 2F, then a UI, but we're splitting it from here, UI. Two L, U, two R, U I, two L, U, two R. We do a two F. We move this one out with a two L and another. Oops. Two F. Finish it up with a with a uh, two R, U I. 2L, U, 2R, UI, 2L, U, do a 2R, bring this in, and as you can see, these are all fixed. I did move the parity to the corner here, so that means that I have to do it again, the same algorithm, to bring these uh, edges over here. So this to here, this to here, this to here. So once again, left-sided, 2L, or 2F rather, UI, 2R, 2L, U, 2L, UI, 2L, U, 2R, do 2F, 2L, 2F, 2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R, UI, 2L, U. So you can see how these parodies and pack is solved, and I got these back in. Now, we have these yet to go, so I'm going to take every opportunity to URF them. So this and this can both be exchanged. So to you, to R, to F, to you, to you, to F, to R, to you. It brought it out to here, but did put these in. To you, to R, to F. 2U, 2U, and 2F, 2R, 2U. Okay, what other opportunities? Well, I've got these guys here and these guys here, so these can be flip-flops. 2U, 2R, 2F, 2U, 2U, 2F, 2R, 2U. We're getting there. Just got to bring it to the outside now. 
to F, to R, to U. Okay, now we've got these guys here. I can't U or F them, so they're both independently brick parodies. So I gotta do them independently. Move this over to here, and this is gonna be once again a left sided, but it's gonna be split all the way down to here. So let's see how that works. I just have to keep track of what I'm doing. So we have 2F, UI, 2L, U, 2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R, in the middle of a big algorithm, 2F, hold on one second, 2R, 2F, finish it up with 2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R, UI, hold on, 2R, U, bring this across here, and then go for splat, bring it back, so we did indeed move those. Okay. So you have chances to do a lot of epic moves with this puzzle, which makes it a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm going to hold off on fixing this until I get all this fixed. But you can see I've got two out and two out, but that's still not going to work. So I'm going to URF these back in because i got three that are out here. So to you, to R, to F, to you, to you, and to F, to R, to you. Now I've got this and this. This is another brick parity. I'm going to fix that right now. This is a right-sided version. So we have 2F, U, this time 2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R, UI, 2L. Double turn. Bring this back with a 2R and another Hmm. 2F, then we finish it up, second part of the algorithm, 2L, U, 2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R, UI. Double turn, bring this back, and now we have all the centers in, we just have to see what's doing with all these guys. Okay, so these two I can immediately place to here, to U, 2R, 2F. I'm just curious to see what kind of a parity that I have here. Is it a brick parity where I have to do uh, that long algorithm or is it something else? So this is a brick parity because this is all in. I've got one, two, three that are out. So this will come to here, this will come to here, and this will come here. So one more. Uh, this is the left sided version. 2F. UI. 2L, U, 2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R, 2F, 2L, 2F, 2R, UI, 2L, U, 2R, UI, 2L, U. Do a 2F, bring this back in, and done. So that's the 4x4 version of this. And I'll tell you that, that I couldn't go through every scenario because every time I scramble this, it gives me some new kind of a challenge. But you can see why this is my favorite kind of puzzle. There's a lot of intuition that you have to use, a lot of variability with the solve. So, like I say, this needs to be mass produced. But why stop with that? Why not, while we're in the neighborhood, go for this guy? The 6x8x10. By by so next up we have the scramble and solve of the biggest, baddest, ultimate shape-shifting beasts there is. The 6x8x10. By by Thanks for watching.